Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my Months and Movie Haul for May 2019. That's right. And I got a lot of stuff here. Um, I got some eBay, Amazon. My dog's in here. Ignore him if you hear noise. Um, eBay, Amazon. Uh, stuff from Cinema Sickness. Stuff from Down to Movie. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. But we're going to get started with uh, eBay pickups. Uh, all five of these that I'm going to show in a row are from the same seller. And uh, there was a sixth one. But I can't remember what the sixth one was, but it's in this pile somewhere. So these are all eBay pickups. It's raining outside, so if you hear thunder, that's what it is. All right. Uh, I don't have any um, music in the background or one of those um, noise things that, you know, simulate rain and stuff just for atmosphere. No, it's, it's actually raining outside. And if you hear barking, that's Ripley. He's over there. He gets scared. Oh, he's hiding in the corner. First one is uh, actually for my uh, animation collection. And if you haven't seen those two videos, check them out. They're on this. They're on my channel right now. Um, the DVD part, and there's a Blu-ray part. So check those out when you get a chance. But this is part of my Blu-ray. Um, animation collection. It's Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy Uncensored. This is basically um, number before seen bits from um, Family Guy where they you know uh, talk about you know remember when it's worse than the time we did blah blah blah. So it's all that in this uh, 54 minutes um, release from 2009 so if you haven't seen it yet check it out I know it was a dollar to Dollar Tree but I couldn't find any of my Dollar Trees next movie I have not seen but it's a Sapphire series American Beauty which stars Kevin Spacey and Annette Bening um, this movie uh, won Best picture uh, for 1999 and also winner of five Academy Awards so I never seen it want to actually check it out and uh, yeah you have to separate the artist from the actual person and I'm talking about Kevin Spacey if you like his work you'll like his work if you like him as if you don't like him as a person that's fine too you know uh, next, got a George Clooney movie here. You don't see that much on my channel, George Clooney movies. And that is The American. Wanted to find this one at the Dollar Tree when they had the sale. Couldn't find it. Um, this one's got George Clooney. Wow, there's no other people I recognize in this movie. Um, yeah, so, The American. Next, this is a funny movie. Great, great funny movie. The Dictator, Sasha Baron Cohen. And uh, you got Anna Faris in it, Ben Kingsley. And uh, that's about the big names in here. And there's a rated and unrated version on here. It's from Paramount. So I'm uh, almost 99% sure this is region free. But they also have this in Europe, so, yeah. Um, okay, so, The Dictator. If you haven't seen this, check it out. It's hilarious. Recommend it. The next one here is the fifth one. I don't know what the sixth one is, because I bought six from this guy. So, it could be another one of these. I don't know. Um, a movie I haven't seen in a long, long time. Russell Crowe. Ben Affleck, Rachel McAdams, and uh, Helen Mirren, State of Play. It's a uh, gripping thriller, and um, 
Yeah, I don't remember much of it, but I remember I did see it on cable a long time ago. And, um, it's two hours and eight minutes. So, looking, uh, looking forward to re, re, um, visiting this movie again. Next is, um, very rare for me to find anything IMAX that I don't have on Blu-ray. Where are you going, Ripples? Oh, he wants the gunner. He's a scare, so he's getting in between my feet there. Okay, that's all. Um, it's very rare for me to find uh, an IMAX movie that I don't already have. Um, but I knew this existed, Circus Soleil. A Journey of Man. I knew this existed. It had the 3D thing on it. So up here it says Blu-ray 3D. So I'm like, it's a Blu-ray 3D I can't have because I don't have a Blu-ray um, 3D TV. But I read a little closer recently and it is also in 2D. It's on the same disc, I think. Yeah, it's on the same disc. Um, never seen Circus Soleil, Cirque du Soleil live. So I decided to give it a shot. It is all region, in case you're wondering. And uh, it's 39 minutes. So looking forward to checking this um, IMAX movie out. Next uh, is a movie i never seen before either. Has Dolly Parton in it, James Woods. And uh, I forgot his name. He's from Roger Rabbit. He did the voice of Roger Rabbit. He was actually in um, Tales from the Crypt uh, movie, Demon Knight. He was in that. Um, he was in a lot of other movies too. And um, yeah, it's a movie. Uh, it's a movie about a talk show uh, radio celebrity, which would be Dolly Parton, in Chicago, and her ratings keep going up and up and up, and that's what it's about. So, when I get a chance, I'm going to check this out. It's from Hollywood Pictures. But when it's on Mill Creek's label, it's all region. Now that it's on uh, Kino, it's not all region. It's kind of sad. The next one is also Mill Creek release from Touchstone Pictures. And um, this one's also all region. If you haven't seen this one, it's pretty funny. Kind of reminds me of the Laurel and Hardy movie, Our Relations, where they played twins. And, yeah, hilarity ensues. Uh, so, yeah, it has Bette Midler, Lily Tomlin, and... Uh, doesn't say who else is in this movie. Um, yeah, it's 98 minutes. And, um, yeah, check it out. You can either get it on Mill Creek if you can still find it, because they made a ton of these copies, or you could get it on uh, Kino if you're looking for it. Next one is for the Tom Hanks collection. And I uh, don't remember if this was brand new when I got it, but it came with a slip. I know it came with a digital code, but it's gone already. Sold it. It's Hologram for the King. This movie I've been looking for at a good price for a long time. Came across it on eBay for a really good price. And um, decided to pick it up. So hopefully it lives up to the hype of all those reviews. Because, um, yeah, I like Tom Hanks. I like his movies. And there's still more Tom Hanks movies I want to get, good or bad. Um, this next one I recently bought... For my wife. Um, came a little late. But uh, it's a, it's an Australian import. But it, someone's selling it from the States on eBay. And it is um, while you were sleeping. It's an Australian import. Why Australia gets some certain touchstone movies and Hollywood movies. That America doesn't or UK doesn't. I don't know. But uh, it's not even open yet. It's still factory sealed. Uh, it's got Sandra Bullock in it. And um, who else? Uh, Bill Pullman. Uh, Peter Gallagher. Peter Boyle. Rest in peace. 
and uh, don't remember. I don't recognize the other names, but this is just, it's a fun movie. It's um, I think it's supposed to take place in Chicago. I think. But anyway, good movie. That's for her. Boom. Another movie that I wanted on Blu-ray, but the only way to get it is Twilight Time. And it is uh, Moscow and Hudson. Found this for a decent price on uh, eBay. Brand new, factory sealed. 28, 28 something, I don't remember. Um, got it from a seller in Canada. So it took about three weeks to get here. And um, the special features on here, really not anything special. Audio commentary from film historian uh, and audio commentary from the director. Isolated score track. Really didn't put too much time and effort into this. Uh, didn't even open it yet, so I don't know if there's flippable artwork on here or not. Maybe I'll do that now. Let's see. I don't have silver with me. There it goes. It's open. That's what God gave you fingernails for, right? <laughs> Let's open this one up uh, and see if there is reversible artwork. No, there's not. There's just um, there's just inner artwork. Oh well. I like the original art poster artwork for this where he's holding the bag full of like American stuff like the Big Mac and there's a Ruby Scoop and all that other stuff in there. Um, picture art. Comes with a booklet. Uh, it's the first time for me to see it too. Um, got a lot of stuff about the movie in it. Uh, pictures. Mother stuff. So, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Last time i seen it, um, I think it was on cable, like a year or two ago. So, yeah, Moscow on the Hudson. Um, I have a feeling that now that I bought it on Twilight Time, that it's going to come out on Mill Creek because Mill Creek distributes Columbia movies. So, if they do, they do. If they don't, whatever, I have it. Or it could be a Criterion because this is one of those movies that you expect to be on Criterion. So, yeah. Moscow and the Hudson. All right, let me set up the next pile of movies. And I'll be right back. All right, this next pile is also a bunch of eBay stuff. I went kind of crazy on eBay this month because... There's a lot of movies that I'm looking for that I cannot find at a good price or even um, good condition. So I found a lot of good sellers that I will buy from again. And I got some DVDs here. Let me put all the DVDs first. Um, in fact, this whole pile of movies is Robin Williams. So, uh, yeah. This movie i never seen. It's a PBS movie. From a really cheap label called um, Monetary Media. Go to monetarymedia.com. Check it out there. I think this is from 1986. It's 93 minutes and it's Seize the Day. I think this is a um, movie. I think it's a remake of uh, Death of a Salesman. I'm, I don't know because I haven't seen it. But... Um, yeah, it's got um, such people as uh, da, 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 Jerry Stiller in it. And who else is in this? Jerry Stiller. Of course, Robin Williams is in it. Joseph Wiseman. Don't know. Uh, Jenny Headley. And the rest of the people I do not recognize. But uh, if you're looking for this... It's on eBay. You could find it. Um, don't know about the quality. 
I haven't seen it yet. Uh, hopefully it's good quality. It's the disc itself. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's good quality. If not, mm, whatever. I didn't spend that much on it. And um, DVD, I, well, they like to call it DVD exclusives on here. You got um, Robin Williams' career highlights, behind the scenes, actors, biographies, uh, so Bello Bio. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, I think it's the guy that wrote the novel. Okay. Uh, study guide, and uh, that's about it. So, yeah, seize the day. I don't like it that it came in a slim jewel case like this either, because it's just. Meh. Another one that. Now that I bought it on DVD, it's going to come out on um, Mill Creek, I bet you, soon. Because it's Columbia Pictures. And Mill Creek has put this out on DVD before. And it's still available, I think. And it's Jacob the Liar. Um, but their version was Jacob the Liar and uh, Moscow and the Hudson. And I had that version... And I'm like, you know what? I want to separate. So I just got this one, brand new factory sealed. And uh, there's really no artwork in this. It's a Columbia release. So, yeah, if it does get a release from Mill Creek, because it's Columbia, uh, it's 120 minutes, actually. So, yeah. If it does get a um, release from Mill Creek, I'll upgrade to uh, Blu-ray, and I'll just put the DVD as a combo pack, I guess. That falls down. Let's do it like that. Okay, the next one, I actually had this on DVD a long time ago, but for some reason, mine was only full screen, and uh, I couldn't take it. <laughs> it was bothering me. So... I actually got it again. It's a used copy, but it's in very good condition. And that is Billy Crystal, Rob Williams, Father's Day. Not the best movie for either one of them, but it was funny and it's well worth checking out. It's got, uh, who else? Julia Louis Dreyfus from Seinfeld, Natasha, Natasha Kinstrid, Kinsky. I butchered that. Um, it's directed by Ivan Reitman and uh, produced by Ivan Reitman. And who did it? Who's the executive producer on this? No one, no one I know. But yeah, it's a good movie. It's well worth checking out. Um, what year is this? This has widescreen and full screen on it, so it's cool. 1997. So. Yeah, um, PG-13, 99 minutes, and it's a snapper case. Yeah, I don't think, it, I think it's out of print now. I don't think you could get it, but, you know. This next one was also factory sealed. Um, must have been sitting around for a while because, yeah, the, the, the shrink wrap on it was kind of ripping off, and it was, like, old and dusty. So it is a final cut. Hopefully this comes out on Blu-ray soon from some company. I don't know. Lionsgate owns this release, but maybe another company will put it out as um, Blu-ray. Who the hell knows? Uh, it's from 2004, uh, PG-13 movie. And uh, Mara Savino, Jim Caviezel, and of course the main star, Robin Williams. Two thumbs up, Ebert and Roper. So, I want to check this one out. I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, final cut. It's about... Uh, I think he's like... Uh, an, works in TV or something. I don't know. But I'm going to have to check this one out. Along with uh, the other one I bought... Uh, the Night Listener. i never seen either one of those movies. Next, I've seen this 
I've seen parts of this movie. And uh, since it was on Blu-ray, I grabbed it. It's also owned by Lionsgate. It's a Lionsgate movie. It is Angriest Man in Brooklyn. This movie is not a comedy. Um, might be comedy elements in it, but it's not a comedy. It's more of a drama. It's um, about uh, Mia, Kunin, Mia Kunis. Uh, her character's the doctor. She's having a bad day, so she tells Robin Williams, you only have so many days to live. Um, so, blah, blah, blah. So, it's kind of like that movie. And then he gets all depressed and angry and and, and uh, gets all enraged and stuff. It's What I've seen of it, it was pretty good. Uh, it also has uh, stars. James Earl Jones is in it. Uh Peter Dinklage, good, good uh, actor. Oh, it's on the front. Duh. Melissa Leo, don't know who that is. Um, and that's it. So, yeah, it's still out there. You could find it. I highly recommend to pick it up. Uh, oh, actually, okay. It says it right in the synopsis. What would you do if you had 90 minutes to live? So it's 90 minutes he had to live and do all this stuff. And uh, it's an 84-minute movie, so go figure. I don't... Uh, so kind of funny. Uh, the next one... Had this on DVD someplace. I can't find it. Um, so I got the Blu-ray of it, Goodwill Hunting. And this is the one that uh, Robin Williams won his uh, Academy Award for for Best Supporting Actor in a movie. Uh, Matt Damon's also in it. Nine Academy Award nominations. Uh, and um, wins for Best Supporting Actor, Rob Williams, and Best Original Screenplay from Merrimax Films. Uh, but now uh, Lionsgate owns this. And it's still under Merrimax, but uh, Lion Gates distribute it. So, and and the weird thing is, the weirdest thing is, it's A B, A B locked. Weird. Just make it all region. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, I had this. It came factory sealed. Sold the digital. So don't even ask for any digital codes because they get sold as soon as I get them. The last Robin Williams movie I got here is um, Warner Brothers Archive release. And uh, it's a movie I uh, haven't seen before. But, okay, this proves that it's okay. Um, I was talking about Mos Moscow and Hudson being it was his third movie. This is his second movie because it's from 82. And uh, Popeye was from, what, 80? Um, so, yeah. And this is the world according to Garp. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if this was like an actual comedy drama or what. But, uh, yeah, i never seen it. I always wanted to. I found this for a good price. I found it for like 16 something on um, eBay. Um, and that was the lowest I found it for. It's uh, 136 minutes, so it's actually pretty long. Now, if Warner Brothers Archives would release Being Human, that would be great. That would be all his... Because, well, no, no, it wouldn't be all his movies because... They're sti they still own um, Club Paradise, which I got to get. Um, yeah. Got another set and got another stack of movies coming right up. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to uh, get the next stack going. Um, this next stack is basically Amazon, Disney Movie Rewards, and Disney Movie Club. So let's just get through this. This one I actually showed earlier in the month, but it was a different copy. It was a Mill Creek copy. I got the um, Kino. 
copy of it. Born Yesterday. It's got Melanie Griffith, Don Johnson, and John Goodman. And um, it is from 1993. It's a Hollywood Pictures. So I did have the Mill Creek one. What did I do with it? I'm going to actually send it to um, Alan of Kermit's Ghost Channel because uh, it's all region, that version from Mill Creek. This one is only region A locked. So he never seen it before. So I decided to, we'll just trade movies off, you know. So this one I didn't even open yet. It's still factory sealed. Um, yeah. So Born Yesterday. I want to see the original Born Yesterday. I think it came out in the 40s from Columbia. Not sure. I have to look that one up. Uh, we'll do this one next. It's another one that I think I had it in my animation collection video for Blu-rays. Joseph, King of Dreams. Which is basically Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat off of Broadway show. Um, it's got the voice of Ben Affleck as the main character here. And uh, I've never seen this movie. Um, this movie came out in 1998. And uh, it is 115 minutes. It's not rated... But, uh, see, I don't know, I don't, I still don't know if this was out at the theater or if this was a made-for video release. I don't know. But the animation is beautiful on this, so, yeah. Check that out soon. Add it to my DreamWorks collection. This one I literally got yesterday, the last release of the month. I do have other things coming, but I don't know if they're coming today, tomorrow, next week. I don't know. So, we'll just add that to the June haul. Um, this is um, Animal House. This is actually the newest release of it because uh, there's, no, there's no digital code on it. The, there was ones that they came out with Blu-ray digital and DVD. And there was ones that just came out with Blu-ray digital. And now they're coming out with just by itself, the Blu-ray. Which doesn't bother me. It's the same damn disc, anyway. Um, this was written. This was written by Harold Ramis, directed by John Landis, and um, uh, produced by Ivan Reitman. So you got three great people right there. Um, three great people in here uh, involved with this movie. Um, of course. John Bellucci. Um, this came out in what year? I think 70, was it 79? I knew this is his first movie, technically, his first starring movie. Um, doesn't actually say to date, but I think this is his first starring movie. And he also was doing Saturday Night Live at the same time. So he had this movie, and he was doing Saturday Night Live. Um, don't know about the movie that he did with um, um, Going West. Don't know if he wasn't the star of that movie. He was just in and out of it. I don't know if he did that during Saturday Night Live 2. Don't know. That was a... Um, God, I forgot the actor's name. Screw it, I'm getting old. Uh, okay, coming up next, this is going to be all Disney stuff. Um, from Well, from the Disney Movie Club and one from the Disney Movie Rewards. And um, the one from the Disney Movie Rewards, I wanted to pick up because I didn't want to pay for it. I only paid shipping. Winnie the Pooh, Springtime for Rue. Haven't really seen uh, Wendy the Pooh movies. Really not a big fan of Wendy the Pooh. But, um, of course, I'm collecting all the Disney movies, so I have to have all the Wendy the Pooh movies as well. This one is the uh, Hippity Hoppity Roo edition. Um...
HD digital copy. When I got this, there was no HD digital copy in it. There was only um, the movie. Um, so yeah, there was no copy in this. I guess they took them out because they were expired. And they resealed it. But they did have the movie points. Or the Disney Club reward points. You know what I mean. So that was uh, Winnie of the Pooh Springtime for Rue. Next... These are all from the Disney Movie Club. And another Rob Williams movie, Dead Poet Society. Had to have it. Uh, I was putting this off for too long. And one month, oh, well, this past month was um, buy a movie and get this off. It's 60% off. So I, I decided, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So, um, yeah, Dead Poet Society... Eh, there's some special features on here. Not very much. Um, take a look if you can. That's uh, too damn small. Too damn blurry. But if you could make it out, good. It's a one disc set. So, yeah. It won an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. So, it did win an Academy Award. I love how they used to do the old touchstone with the artwork on it. Now, who gives a crap, right? Uh, Disney. Uh, because now all their touchstone and Hollywood movies, besides the ones that they keep on their Disney Movie Club, is basically, you know, done by Kino. Now, was Mill Creek? Now it's Kino. The other one that I got at 60% uh, off because I bought a movie. I pre-ordered a movie. I even forgot what it was. But, uh, whatever. It's the Rocketeer. This is the 20th Anniversary Edition. This one was touched on at one point. And they changed it to Disney because it did that well. And, um... It has uh, Jennifer Connelly in there. It has Bill Campbell, Ellen Arkin, uh, Paul Servino, Timothy Dalton. So, it's got a great cast and uh yeah uh i was gonna get the import of this because it's all region as well but i didn't want to hassle with going to amazon.uk and stuff and getting the slip cover with it and blah 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 blah. so this will do for the collection yeah next are um all three of these are uh disney movie club exclusives this one i wanted to get when it first came out but i just kept on putting it off I'm a Phil Silvers fan, so he's in this movie. Uh, great comedian. Uh, who else is in this movie? Norman Fell from um, Three's Company uh, and The Ropers. If you remember that show, played Mr. Roper. Um, who else is in there? Robert Morris, Stephanie Powers, and uh, Willie Cox, Don Amici, and there's another name which I never heard of before but um yeah I can't wait to put this one in it's a G-rated movie it's all region there you go The Boat Nicks next movie was a Disney Club exclusive for uh April I want to say but I didn't get this till May might have been the end of April last last week or something last week of April but didn't get them until the first or second week of May. Um, a goofy movie. Now, I've never seen this movie before, so I thought I would give them both shots. i seen bits and pieces of them when they were showing them on the Disney Channel, but I just keep on flipping through. Um, this is all region. It's rated G. There's no data on it. And the other one I'm talking about is the an extreme goofy movie. Um, and um, this one uh, is all region as well, of course. And um, it's rated G, so yeah. I want to give this one a shot as well. I think uh, Polly Shore was in the first movie as a voice. The Leaning Tower of Chisa. You know. Well, Polly Shore was working for Touchstone in Hollywood movies already, so why not put him in a Disney movie, you know? 
So, uh, yeah. Um, that's that stack. Next, I'm going to do some non-media items. And then get back to the movies because it's stuff that I uh, don't think I showed yet at all. So, we're going to do the non-media stuff. Then get back to the media. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the non-media part of of this uh, um, May haul. And um, the non-media part is usually Disney pins or mm, sometimes other kinds of pins as well. Uh, and some collectibles. So I'm going to get started with uh, birthday stuff that I did not show um, in my birthday haul video because I wanted to save it for the haul video and uh, my aunt and uncle and cousin they got me the set that I wanted it is the wisdom set with um, Miko on it and this was for May of um, yeah May of the sh yeah May June is not out yet of course I'm um, getting that one too it's a uh, Beauty and the Beast one with the, the candlestick. Um, so yeah, I really, really appreciate them getting this for me because I was out of town um, the 18th. Um, my wife wanted to take me out, so we we didn't have enough money to like go to and go out of town or whatever. So we drove to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and um, we enjoyed the. The city there it's really nice really clean city went to about three museums and everything else all three of those videos are up right now on my channel um, there are uh, Milwaukee Wisconsin trip uh, day one two and three all separate the second video is really long so yeah um, the first one really cool because we went to a museum that was fairly new was a bobblehead museum and it was called the uh, National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and uh, museum and just it'll blow you away when you see this video it's just that good it's just that alone I would have went to Wisconsin for but watch those videos in your own time uh, right now I'm gonna show uh, some more birthday stuff that I got this was for my mother-in-law she got me a, uh, she went to the Salvador Dali Museum uh, with, with uh, one of her daughters from Florida. And then uh, she got me a shirt from there, which I showed in my birthday haul. Then they went to Disney Springs, which I guess they went to a pin store in Disney Springs. And she, I asked my wife, which pin would you like? And she picked out this one, 19... Uh, 2019. I have a 2018 one, um, something like this. So yeah, this one's really cool, Mickey on it. So yeah, that was uh, from my mother-in-law. Um, now for my cousin, she got me two Wreck-It Ralph pins. Uh, I guess she got these online. Because they're Disney Park collectibles. So I, I take it either she got it from eBay or Amazon. Probably eBay. Um, from Ralph Breaks the Internet. These are, um, you know. Uh, yeah. So I don't have. Well, I don't have that many uh, Ralph. Um, Wreck-It Ralph pins. So it's kind of cool that I have two more now. I only have maybe like two other ones, I think. And uh, this one's cool. I'm going to wreck it. This one might be from the first movie. I don't know. But, uh, of course, Disney doesn't put dates on them, so uh, whatever. But that is from my cousin. She did a really good job at finding these pins. Awesome. And next... I got pin, ah, no, next I got a pin from, um, uh, where did I get this, um, eBay, I found an eBay seller, 
Uh, you can do these um, searches and it'll automatically pop up on your um, on your uh, your emails and so I look for Disney quest pins all the time they're very hard to find this past year alone I came across two that I wanted but both of them were extremely expensive one was 70 something dollars one was 80 something dollars and I'm like yeah I can't afford those but this one was like dirt cheap it was like 10 something or 12 something and with tax you know and this is a um Disney quest pin if I could do it uh, New Year's Eve 2014 which I didn't I I have never seen this pin and in, in any collection videos or anything so I decided yeah I'm gonna grab it and then it's got the Disney quest uh, building in the back Disney quest logo but I didn't know they made one for that uh, it is legit pin on the back it says Disney, I don't want to pull it off the packing, but yeah, it does say um, official Disney, um, and uh, it's got the um, Disney Quest stuff on the back of it, so yeah, another one for the Disney Quest collection, which is growing, but I'm still looking for two important ones, uh, one is a Disney Quest dinosaur one. And another one is, I think it's a game one. I forgot what game it was, but yeah, those are the two I'm looking for. Okay, going to uh, Hong Kong Disney now. I have a seller on um, Instagram where she goes to, well, she lives not that far from Hong Kong Disney, and she's a pass holder and stuff like that. And I'll put her link in the description Subscription? I'll put a link in the description below uh, if you want to check out her Instagram page. And uh, she got. She got. Whoa, my language is going bye bye. Uh, she has a lot of good deals on there and uh, she'll do pickups for people and other things. It's just, she does excellent job. Sometimes she'll give you free shipping, but. Uh, there was one pin in particular. I was asking for a uh, um, a Dumbo pin that I am getting still. It was a baby Dumbo pin. Um, I'll show you what it actually looks like. It looks like this postcard that she sent me. It looks like this, but with um, Dumbo in it. And this is like postcard. She sends me extra stuff and stuff. So it's kind of cool like that. It looked like a pin like that. And uh, here's the other postcard she sent me as an extra, um, a Disney Christmas. It's too bad it got bent in the mail, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I like the free stuff that she sends me because, you know, I always keep, you know, postcards and stuff and I'll eventually use them um, and stuff. But the, the pin that she sent me, I'm like, yeah, do you have that Dumbo pencil? She's like, what, this one? And I'm like, What? It's a um, Disney, Hong Kong Disney's Mother Day pin uh, for 2019. And check it out. The mom actually moves. So it's a pin on pin design. And it moves. Yeah. You got Dumbo down here. This was not cheap. <laughs> but it was well worth getting. Um, Let's see. I don't know how to trans. I, I do not know how to uh, to do that in uh, to American money, but uh, I think I pay like thirty bucks for this. I think so. I'm like, yes, I have to have it, and uh, really nice, really nice pen. Uh, only at Hong Kong Disney limited edition. These next two, I'm starting to collect. Uh, more or less a lot of genie pins. I want to make a whole entire genie board and um, they don't really put them out here as much as Tokyo Disney does and J and Hong Kong Disney and Shanghai Disney. Well, they had them. This is a uh, Hidden Mickey series which I have no clue what the, the hell it's supposed to be. It's a Hidden Mickey series. Series, maybe it's written on the back. 
No. I don't know what this is supposed to be. If it's supposed to be a cup or what. But it has the genie's face on it. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. It wasn't really that expensive. This one was more expensive. It's another uh, hidden Mickey set. Uh, Mickey Mouse was out of 18. There's only 18 in this set. But uh, it's the... Um, we did something like this here where it was the um, air balloon ones. It's a hidden Mickey air balloon set. And there was 18 in this set, but this is the only one I wanted. So, yeah. And this one is a 12 set. I might get more of these if there's any interesting me. Um, but, yeah. That was the pins for this month. Got a lot of them. Now... For collectibles, I got these from Cinema Sickness this past month. And the first one I got, actually at the beginning of the month, um, I still have to clean it off a little bit. Toucan Sam. That is freaking awesome. I want to start collecting um, ad icons. Let it be Funko Pop ad icons or ad icons like this rubber figure here. Um... I want to start collecting them, but they're very hard to find. So I asked him if he finds any, let me know. And uh, if it's something I'm looking for, yeah, I'll get it from him. But this is from Cinema Sickness. Um, next, something else from Cinema Sickness, which he's got one on his page again now, um, which needs a really bad cleaning. But uh, it's... Um, Roger Rabbit. Now, this is not a McDonald's toy. At least I don't think it is. Because it says Disney emblem made in China. If it was a McDonald's toy, it would say McDonald's on it. So, yeah, I got confused. Mickey's Toontown. I got confused when I looked at this. Say, was it a Disney toy? Or was it a um, Happy Meal toy? I don't know. But it's a uh, a viewer. If you could actually see it, you'll see Toontown in there. It's probably going to be hard to see. Um, yeah, but you'll see Toontown in there. Sorry, it's the best I could do. But that was Roger Rabbit. Just got to clean that one up and then put it, probably display it somewhere around there. Now this next one, when I seen him pick this up, I got to clean this one off too. When I seen him pick this up, I'm like, oh God, I hope he didn't get rid of it uh, as soon as he picked it up. Uh, he didn't know what he had here. This is a, um, a retro toy from 1987. Okay. And it's a candy dispenser. I guess it was a gumball candy dispenser, which... Uh, the arm's not going up and down, but that's okay. Well, yes, it does. The arm does go up and down. Um, oh, there it goes. It's Bozo the Clown, okay, from 1987. This is when it still was airing in Chicago. The last show in Chicago was September, I think, of 2001. No. August of 2000, something like that. Um, it's on I, it's, you can just Google it. But this right here is a candy dispenser. You probably put like little gumballs or something in it. And finding Bozo stuff that is vintage is really hard. You can find new bobbleheads and new toys with Bozo on it. But the vintage stuff, oh. This is, this is awesome. Just got to clean up the dust and dirt off of it. And, uh, yeah, it's just too bad that uh, you could tell this was a kid's toy. There's, like, marks right here. I might be able to fix that with a little, with a little marker that might match up. But, uh, yeah, this is awesome. I have to actually check the price on it, seeing it's a vintage toy, but... Yeah, when I seen this, I had to have it. Um, that 
was all my non-media for this haul in May. There will be a picture up at the end showing everything that I got. Um, let me set up... Let me set up the... Um, the last of it. Most of the last of it is stuff that I didn't show yet. So, I'll be right back. Okay, this is uh, the last two stacks of the video. Yes, I know. It drags on just a little bit, but this is almost the end. Um, I'm going to do Cinema Sickness first. I have one for Cinema... I have a two from Cinema Sickness, two from Down to Movie. So, um, yeah, Cinema Sickness uh, had this on his... Uh, page uh his um instagram page and for sale and i'm like yeah i haven't seen that movie in years i asked him if it was in good condition it just has light scratches on it and it's disney's flight of the navigator um voice of paul rubens is in it uh sarah, Je sarah jessica parker and joey kramer which would be that kid i have to look up see what happened to him i don't know but this really disney I know they're not listening right now, but Disney, put this out on Blu-ray. This deserves to be a Blu-ray. This and The Black Hole. Both these movies, sci-fi movies, belong on Blu-ray, Disney Movie Club. Next, I got this because, just as a collectible, it was an exclusive uh, theatrical sneak peek that you can only get when you buy a Columbia movie. Uh, at Best Buy at one point before Hancock came out. And it is uh, Hancock, the preview uh, Blu-ray. So I decided, yeah, it's factory, it's brand new factory sealed. And uh, they don't do stuff like this anymore. Um, I wish they did, because that would be awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, just got it for a collectible. Never going to be opened. Never going to watch it. But, you know, something that's there. It might not end, even end up in the shelf. It might end up in you know, a storage bin in my closet. So that was uh, an exclusive Blu-ray uh, disc for Hancock. Um, next, uh, Rick from Down to Movie was uh, doing a little bit of uh, his own purge, like uh, Dave from Cinema Sickness was. And uh, he had two movies that uh, he wanted to know if I was interested in. And I said yes. Uh, the first one was... The Matrix. It's a digi book. I've been eyeing up for a long time at uh, Second and Charles until one day they said they're going to close. So they took all their DVDs, or no, they took all their Blu rays, shipped them off to another store so you couldn't buy anymore, and just had the DVDs left. So I'm like, I missed that boat. So this is the digi book. It's a beautiful digi book. Um. Got pictures in it. It's got all like information about the actors and actresses that are in the movie. Got Neo in there. Some other stuff. So yeah, it's got one Blu-ray disc. Um, probably never gonna watch this because I have the box set with all the movies. Uh, the Blu-ray box set with all the movies plus the Animatrix. Uh, so yeah, probably never gonna watch this. But, um, yeah, it's worth having for my digital collection. That's for sure. And the other movie that he had that I was kind of interested in, and he kind of gave me a good price on it. So I said, yeah, sure. Dazed and confused. Right? Uh, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have this already. But, uh, yeah, it's a Richard Linkletter film. And uh, it has such stars as Ben Affleck. Mia Jovovich, uh, Jason London, Parker Posey. What the hell happened to her? Yeah. Um, Matthew McConaughey. His first words in a movie. This was his first movie. Was all right, all right, all right. Did a he did like um an interview on Conan and yeah that, that came up in the interview. I'm like wow, that was your first words in a movie. So whatever. Um, next, I gotta push these forward, got two here from Hamilton Book, and, uh, both of them are not open, but this movie I wanted for a long time, I have it on DVD, 
Uh, but when this came out on Blu-ray, I wanted to get it right away, but the price never went down. Hamilton Book had it for $9.95, so I grabbed it. It is Big Trouble with Tim Allen, um, Dennis Farina, Ben Foster's in it, Janine Garofalo, Jason Lee, Rene Russo, Tom Sizemore, Stanley Tucci, uh, Patrick Warburg is in this from um, Seinfeld, and uh, I don't know, there's some other people in here too as well, they had small parts, but this is a damn funny movie, really good. I think this is a remake, I think our original one came out back in the 70s I want to say, so I think this is a remake. This is a Touchstone Pictures, so, and uh, this came out in 2002. That's the good thing about Kino. They actually put the dates on the discs. Check it out. So that was uh, another uh, Touchstone pitch up, pick up for my Touchstone and Hollywood Pictures collection. This next one, I seen it on there, but I was scratching my head the whole time going, I don't remember this movie. I really don't. It's because it only came out in DVD form here in the States. If you wanted it in Blu-ray, you had to get a rental exclusive. But I looked it up on IMDb. There's no information. I looked it up on um, Blu-ray.com. There's information. It says rental exclusive. But they don't say for what rental store. Or if it was all rental stores or whatever. But it's um, sleeping with other people. This happens to be the Canadian version, which really doesn't bother me because they're all the same region, Canada and America. But this one, for some strange odd reason, does not have a region on it. So I'm going to check this one out and um, let you guys know out there if it is region free or not. And it could be played in Europe. I know there's an Australian version of this too. So you can also get it in Australia if you live in Europe in general, the um, UK. Um, so, yeah, I haven't seen this before. And um, it's got a great cast. It's got Jason Sudeikis. I like him in, the, in his raunchy comedies. Elson Bree from um, Community. Adam Scott was in um, Parks and Rec. And Amanda Pete was in a, um, the whole 10 yards. No, the whole nine yards she was in. She was in the whole 10 yards too, actually. And um, I'll count this of uh, other movies she was in. So yeah, um, Sleeping With Other People. I'm going to check this out soon. It's uh, from 2015, I think I said that. And it's uh, 101 minutes, so it's not that long watch next pile here is movies that i got from family video when they went down to 8.95 i think it's movies that i wanted to buy but i didn't want to spend money on so the first one since it got really bad reviews i actually um got it through them cheaper and that is holmes and watson i don't know i might like it I like Will Ferrell and John C. Riley together, so yeah. Um, this guy's artwork. This stupid sticker, I'm not even going to bother taking it off. Because, like I said, you take off the sticker, you keep rubbing it off. It just rubs the shine off the disc and uh, just becomes sticky and eh, whatever. I'll just leave it there. That was the first one I bought from there. Second one is a movie I wanted to buy, but I, I didn't really want to spend that much money on. And uh, it's inspired by a true story, and it's directed by Clint Eastwood. And it has Bradley Cooper in it, Lord Fishberg, um, Michael Pena, I like him, uh, Diane Weiss, Andy Garcia, and it is The Mule. This movie looked really interesting when I seen the trailers, so I figured... Well, for eight ninety five, why not? I'll check it out. 
it's only one disc blu-ray or yeah blu-ray but the dvd i don't need it i really don't and uh yeah so uh almost two hours it's 116 minutes so i'll check that out soon uh do this one last next for the animation collection which i did not have I decided to get, um, I wanted to get this, buy it, but it's like, I don't know if I'm going to actually like it, so I got the used copy, um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, this was $6.99 used, and, uh, it's all region, it's even got a mini short on there, Spider-Ham caught in the, caught in a ham, it's a, mini movie I guess um just the blu-ray picture art on it um I'm eventually gonna change the case out and probably use this case for another something else that I have uh dvd blu-ray for uh but uh other than that pretty cool it did come usually they refurbish these all of these are refurbished except for this one and it came refurbished, but uh, there were some scratches on here that, like, just were there. So I tried to get an amount, and I don't know if you you can't really notice them anymore. I got them out. I buffed them out. So it's playable. It's just really annoying scratch marks that just will not go away. They're just there. I don't know what someone did with this disc. It's... If it wasn't playable, I would have returned it. Or I would have just called them up and said, send me another copy. But someone must have did this on the table with it, and it scratched it up. But it works, so, yeah. I mean, maybe in the future, if they have a um, special edition of something or this, I might get it. All right. All right, that's uh, Into the Spider-Burst for the uh, animation collection, all right? Uh, finally, needed this to complete the trilogy, the uh, M. Night Shyamalan trilogy of Unbreakable, Split, and then Glass. And I'm surprised they had this this fast uh, for used. And again, I paid $8.95 for this, and... Uh, is from what universal there's a three pack of this at uh, walmart but i already had the first two movies so what's the point um and it comes just with the blu-ray it's all i need and i'll just use this case for something else um this one was immaculate when i got it yeah see this one was good only one disc was really scratched um uh, yeah, this case is kind of crappy though. It doesn't really clip that well. But uh, yeah, I finally get to watch the conclusion of it. But I have to go back and watch Unbreakable and Split because not fresh in my mind. So glass is not going to make sense. Um, that's it. That's all I got. If you have any comments or questions... Feel free to leave them below. And um, yes, hit that notification bell if you want more new videos. And uh, give it this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to get questions answered and you don't want to do it here, you can do it on Instagram. My Instagram page is movieedge1. And uh, I think that's it. And uh, I should have another video coming up soon. Um, trying to do more collection videos. And of course, this, I'm going to go through A through Z soon in June, as fast as I can. Because we're going to have like guests coming in from other states, like nieces and nephews and stuff. So I'm going to try to get that done as soon as possible. Um, and that's it. Have yourself a good day, people, and remember, movies are your best entertainment.